Welcome to Screen Tech's how-to video, how to replace your notebook screen. Hi, my name is Kevin Bailey, the Director of Marketing at Screen Tech. And over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you in just a few simple steps how to replace your notebook screen. So let's get started. Step 1. Preparation. The first step in the notebook screen replacement process is to gather the tools that you will need. The tools that you will need are a small Phillips head screwdriver, a small knife, a soft cloth or paper towel. And also, always remember safety first. Please make sure to unplug your notebook from the power supply and remove the notebook's battery. Step 2. Identifying the parts of the notebook screen assembly. Let's familiarize you with the terms we will use during this video. If you open your notebook, you will see something like this. The top section of the notebook which contains the notebook screen is referred to as the screen assembly. The exterior components of the screen assembly are the front bezel, the rear bezel, the notebook screen, the hinges, and the screw covers. Step 3. Locating and removing the screw covers. Locate all the screw covers on the screen assembly. There are generally at least four screw covers and typically they are facing you on the front bezel, as you see here. Using a sharp knife, remove each of the screw covers on the screen assembly. Not all of the screw covers are concealing screws, so it is best to partially remove each screw cover to see if there are screws that need to be removed. Be sure to keep these screw covers in a safe place, as you will need to put them back into place once the replacement process is complete. Step 4. Removing bezel screws. Once you've removed all the screw covers, you can start removing the Phillips screws which secure the front bezel to the screen assembly. Please be sure to keep all your screws in a safe place so that you don't lose them. Step 5. Removing the bezel. The front bezel surrounding the notebook screen is ready to be removed. First, insert your fingers between the front bezel and the notebook screen. The front bezel should start to unsnap. Work the plastic gently back and forth to help unsnap the bezel. Work your way around the front bezel to unsnap it completely. Some notebooks may require you to shift the latch to remove the front bezel completely. Step 6. Identifying the internal parts of the screen assembly. Now that you have removed the front plastic bezel, the screen assembly should look similar to this. You'll notice that the notebook screen is being held in place by a metal bracket on each side of the notebook screen. The notebook screen is being secured to the metal brackets on either side of the notebook screen by four Phillips screws. Underneath the notebook screen is the inverter, which provides power to the notebook screen's backlight. Step 7. Removing Bracket Screws First, place a soft cloth or paper towel on your keyboard to rest the notebook screen once you have removed the screws from the metal brackets. Remove the bottom screws first, followed by the top screws. Gently place the notebook screen on the soft cloth or paper towel. Leaning the notebook screen forward will give you access to the inverter plug and the video cable. You should now see the inverter board and the video cable. Step 8. Disconnecting the video cable. You can now disconnect the video cable from the back of the notebook screen. Typically, the video cable is attached to the back of the notebook screen by tape. While maintaining pressure on your notebook screen, peel the tape, which is securing the video cable to the notebook screen, but leave it affixed to the video cable. You can reuse the tape on the new notebook screen. Some notebook models, such as this Dell, use locking tabs to securely connect the video cable to the notebook screen. Simply press the two tabs on either side of the video cable port to remove the video cable. Step 9. Disconnecting the inverter. For Dell notebook models, you'll need to unplug the notebook screen's inverter cable from the inverter and disconnect the video cable from the inverter. For other notebook brands, such as HP or Toshiba, you will only need to unplug the notebook screen's inverter cable from the inverter because the inverter is mounted to the rear bezel instead of to the screen. Step 10. 
Step 10. Screen installation. The notebook screen should now be free from the notebook and now you can reverse this process to install the new screen. Step 1. Connecting the inverter. Step 2. Connecting the video cable. Step 3. Securing the notebook screen to the brackets. Step 4. Replacing the front bezel. Step 5. Replacing the bezel screws. Step 6. Replacing the screw covers. We'd also like to introduce you to ScreenTech's Notebook LCD Screen Cleaner, PixelClean. It's the first LCD screen cleaner specifically developed for high-gloss notebook screens. PixelClean is also safe and effective for all LCD screen types. For more information, visit www.pixelclean.com or contact a ScreenTech sales representative.